That first day, I remember my parents were like 20 minutes away. I was like, oh my God, I left my insulin in the car. <laughs> it was so bad. It was like a new part of my life, like a new chapter of everything, but I still had diabetes. Dining courts were definitely a big area of problem that I had in like controlling my blood sugars. I would pretty much just like pull my phone out and Google every single thing I was eating and it worked out pretty well. If you're on a date, I just whip out my blood sugar kit and start testing my blood sugar and it's almost like a conversation starter. One of my roommates actually, before I got the chance to tell her I had diabetes, she asked who has insulin in the fridge. And registering with your DSD will in fact help you in, in terms of academic success, but it'll also help in your overall happiness. So I was like allowed to check when I want and like get up and go out if I felt like, like really work around my sugars and how I felt in class. You know, you have to deal with this for the rest of your life, which sucks, but I couldn't imagine my life without uh, my diabetes camp in the CDN. It would be a lot different. It's gonna be okay, and you know, if I did it, then you could do it too.